I'm going to model a sci-fi crate to use as a prop in my sci-fi room. And uh, there's a few different ways of doing these things. I've got just the default cube at the default size here. And I'm going to change this material right now uh, in the viewport display. I'll make it red. Okay. I'm going to go into edit mode and select it all. I've got the edges selected. Control B. I'm going to pull my mouse and I'm going to roll my mouse wheel up twice. So I get this. I'm not even going to shade smooth. Okay, cool. I'm going to look from the front. Select that. Go into edit mode. And in three face selection, I'm going to select that front face there. Shift S, cursor selected to bring my 3D cursor right to the front. Shift A, mesh plane. I'm going to edit mode, rotate X90. I like to have that on. I'm going to hit S to scale, bring it in so that I've got a bit of a border around it there. Press 1 to go into vertex selection and select opposite points like this and press J to join them. Do that there as well. J to join them. Edge selection. This one's already selected. Shift Alt and click that one. Control B to bevel. Pull. Roll your mouse wheel back to zero. So I've got just a space like this. Make it as big as you want. And then X, delete those faces. So I've got that. Okay. Press 1 to go back into vertex selection. I'm going to box select all the points here. And we'll bevel those. Okay. Shift Control B to bevel. Pull. Roll the mouse wheel up. There's three, four, five. Uh, go back to three, four, five. I don't want too round. So I'm going to hold Shift to come in. There. Done. Just like that. So I've got that. Okay. Now, my 3D cursor is right in the middle. I am going to do a Boolean and cut out a circle. But before I do that, I'm going to give this some thickness. So edit mode, select it all. Pull it out a little bit off the surface. E to extrude. Give it some thickness like that. Deselect back into object mode and I can push that back in if I want. I'm going to delete the back faces in a moment. Back to the front. Back to the front. <laughs> all right, whatever. Now, I'm going to bring in a circle. I'm going to leave it at 32 vertices. Go into edit mode and rotate X90. Scale it down. I'll bring it forward so we can see what it looks like. And I want this point in the middle, in the space. And I want these points um, a little bit of a distance away from the edge. Just like that. So I'll try that spot there. I'm going to press F to make a face. And I'm going to hit E to extrude. And pull back in and make sure it goes right through those. I'll select it. And if you need to, go Alt N. And calculate outside if you happen to have pulled in the wrong direction. If you pulled out instead of in. So it cuts through them. That's great. Select them. And come over to modifiers, choose Boolean, difference, and with the eyedropper, select the circle, click apply, select the circle again, and we can delete that. We now have this. Now, go back into edit mode, and in two, edge selection, I'm going to select all these sharp ends right there. And I wanted to make sure that this edge is a good distance away from this so we can bevel properly and that's going to be just fine the way it is so once we have them all control B to bevel pull and so I just don't want to hit those edges roll my mouse wheel up a bit and I get this kind of a thing all right, let's put that material on as well. So we have that. All right, so far so good. Let's go in. Select this face, this face, this face, and this face. We're going to bevel this. Control B. 
difficult. Roll your mouse back to zero and then decide maybe two or three segments. This is going to be enough because I'm going to view it from a distance. So I've got that. Now, I'm going to do a little bit more. So I'm going to bring in a plane. Edit mode, rotate X90. I'm going to bring it out front. Scale, I'm going to put a little light on each of these. So I'm going to scale in the Z. And put a light up here. I want it rounded, so vertex selection, shift control B, Paul. That's going to be just fine. That's four. I want five. I want an extra point right in the middle there. Okay, select it all. I'm going to come outwards this time to show you something. Okay. Um, I may have to flip polys. I want this to be wide enough, long enough to cut right through there. I'm going to go into wireframe and see if I want. Or in solid, I can see that it goes through. So I want that. Now, my 3D cursor is still right in the middle. All right, I'm just going to move this down here a little bit and decide where I want it positioned. All right, that's fine. All right, I'm going to set the origin of the 3D cursor, make sure it hasn't moved, and I'm going to rotate this around now. So I'm going to Shift D, rotate Y 180, and with both of them, Shift D, rotate Y 90. So I get them everywhere. I'm going to join these together, Control J, and they cut through all of these. So I'm going to select this modifier boolean actually I don't need it to cut all the way through now that I think about it I just want it indented so I take that back I just want it pushed in a little ways so I could put an emission material on there okay so difference use the eyedropper select that apply take this and delete those so I've got a little space down. Make it a bit more visible. I'm going to come in. I'm going to select this face and this face, this one and this one. I'm going to turn to individual origins and I'm going to just press S. Scale like that. I think maybe I'll take both of these now. We'll scale in the Z and then they will scale independently. See that kind of thing? And I'll do these ones and I'll scale in the X a little bit. Do that kind of thing. So they're tapered in like that. And if I can, I'll do one more thing. I'm not sure if I can. Shift Alt and click the outer edge of all of these. I'm holding down Shift and Alt. Making sure I don't get any of these edges selected. With that, like that, let's give it a try. Control B, pull. That'll give me just a bit of a bevel on there. Okay, very good. Now, let's select the box. Shift S. Uh, let's make sure we got our origin right in the middle of the box. I'm going to switch to 3D cursor, and I'm going to set the origin to the 3D cursor. Ah, jeez. I didn't do that right. Let's set the origin of geometry on that. Shift S. Cursor is selected. I want my 3D cursor in the middle of the box. Select this piece now. Shift D. Rotate X 180. So I now have two of them. Shift D. Rotate Z 90. And Shift D. Rotate Y 90. And they're now on all surfaces. You can decide if you want one on the bottom or not. Okay, cool. I'm going to look from the top. I'm going to get out of that. Back to median point. I'm going to bring in a circle. 
I'm gonna leave it at 32 and bring it up. Go into edit mode, look down from the top, and scale it in so it fits in the middle there. Cool. I have to make a face, ED extrude. I'm gonna come down. And I do want to push into this and push it down even further. Something like that. Select the box, add modifier, Boolean difference, eyedropper, grab the circle, apply. Take this, don't delete it, just hide. So I have a circle in there. Alt H, bring that back. I'm going to take this, go to edit mode and three for face selection. I'd inset. Pull it in like this, and E to extrude, and push it down. And take the whole thing now and push it down. All right. I'm gonna go Control Two for two subdivisions. And we're going to Edit Mode, and we will actually get rid of this bottom face. And I think like that. I'm gonna shade smooth on that. And I'll just pull this down. I'm going to bring an edge loop up here and one on the outside up near the top. And that's probably good enough. I'll go ahead and put on that same material. I'm just going to scale it out a little bit. Okay, make sure it covers up any of the jagged sides like that. And I'm going to select this set origin of geometry create a little handle using a plane I'm going to want it to go all the way across scale that in the Y something like this okay I'm going to hit E to extrude I'll come up I'm going to delete that face and select it all and rotate X 180. Flip it downwards like that. It's going to go in there so we can face selection, get rid of these faces as well. And before we go any further, we'll grab these two edges. Control B, bevel them, give them as many segments as you want. A couple is probably fine. That could go in there like that. And the last thing I'll do is I'll grab a circle from here, any of them. Shift Alt to click there, Shift D, scale it, P to break it out. So I got just the circle. Set the origin of geometry on that guy. I don't need the subdivision surface on it. Look down from the top. And I'm going to edit mode. I'm going to scale it just a little bit smaller than the handle. So there's like a stock. Okay, I'm going to hit, and then I'm just going to extrude down. Uh, I think I'll make it a little bit longer, though. Okay. And pull it under, like that. And this one I will shade smooth. So I've got that effect. Eventually, what I'll do is I would put on a emission but I, I could do some of that right now so I'll come into here and I'll select uh, these inner parts here and then I come over to my materials and we hit plus new and I switch this over to emission I'll make it three I'll press assign so you would have that so I mean you could do that before you copied it over Otherwise, you have to spend some time uh, doing this. It's not that not that bad. Hit the plus. Choose your mission and assign. So I've got that on all of them. Uh, we could also put a decal of some sort on there. We can do that later when we do some materials I you know again I have this stuff on the bottom just in case you want to have one rolled over on its side or whatever um, let's see
just to give ideas of what what it could look like. Okay, it's not that high poly um, and then you could um, use um, collection instance to, to copy this um, if you needed to shade smooth it you could do that and then uh, let's have a look and see how well it takes because of the boolean we have a little bit of issues let's try edge split see if that solves it for us that looks fine to me I don't think we have a problem with that. Okay. So there we go. There's our cool little sci-fi crate. 